Okay, my dear students, for the last part for the box plot, it's easy, listen, and nice, and look. This is good that combines stem leaf diagram with a box plot. Remember, what's the main purpose of the stem leaf diagram? To order the data. To order the data. Look how it will help us now. It helps us in statistics to represent the data faster and easier. So this is the data, the same data for the last example, for the 30 females, about this glucose blood test. Okay? The question once, draw a box plot to represent the data. Draw, draw a box plot to represent the data. Okay, we we'll start with what? With the minimum, easy thing. Focus again, minimum value, lowest value, which is not an outlier. Yes? Which is 2.2, the smallest value, which is 2.2. 2 to 3, look here at the scale. Scale is important because of this I am using sheets from the book to scale. It will save my time and your time. It's well drawn to scale. So the scale here, each one of these, five units. So each unit is 0 0.2. So each one of these 0 0.2. So the smallest value for the data, 2.2. .2. So which is here, this one is 2.2, .2, my dear students, 2.2. .2. What does this represent, we said? Q1, the lower quartile. That was in the previous example. 3.2, look, even I don't need to look back, it's drawn here, look when I draw it, I come 3.2, then I draw a rectangle like this, so the first part is the Q1, which is 3.2, in the middle here is the median, which is the Q2, which was 3.8, yes, in the previous example. Upper quartile, which is Q3, was exactly 4, Q3. Q3, which is here, is 4. So I draw like this. I draw a line like this, then by a ruler, of course, a ruler. Then I draw a line, rectangle like this. Then I move to 3.8, draw a line. Then I move to 4, then I close it. This is the box. Whiskers, you go where now? To the outliers and the maximums. Uh, focus well here. As we said, was the last part, and we'll stop and we'll finish this lesson for today about this box plot. 5.5 is the maximum. 5.5 is the maximum. It's the largest, the highest value. Yes? But the highest value is greater than, my dear, greater than, what? Look here. The value is greater than the upper quartile. Upper quartile is 4. The value is greater than the upper quartile. What were they in the previous example? 4. I'll do it again here. Plus 1.5 times 0 0.8, which is 5.2, which is this one. Look, this is 5.2, this value. Since the highest value is greater than the values, greater than the upper quartile, so we consider even the highest value in the data is the greater outlier. So 5.5 is outlier. Do you see it? Since 5.2 is not in the data, so we stop Y, look, focus with the last part. 5.1 is the highest value before 5.5. 5.2 is outlier, we don't want it. So what do you do here? This exactly came between this, 5.2 is here, so this, look, in the middle. 5.1, which is this value. 5.1. Is the highest value, my dear student, the highest value that is not an outlier. 
highest value. Why it's not? Because it's less than 5.2. 5.1 is less than the smallest one, is the highest value of the data before the highest one. High value before the highest one. So the last value will be to finish the box plot at 5.1. 5.1. To practice, these two questions are very clear to you. You do them as homework. This lesson will be on YouTube and if you have requirements or questions, you can communicate with me on the channel of YouTube. And the people that my private or specific groups on WhatsApp, you communicate with me on WhatsApp group. And thank you so much for today.